Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when this video finds you. Let's come into a seated, easy meditation pose. Left foot comes right in front of those hips, and right foot comes right in front of that left foot. Straightening out that spine, rolling your shoulders back, placing your palms onto your knees. Maybe your palms are facing Mother Earth below you to receive that loving Mother Earth energy from below you. Or maybe the palms are facing up to receive a little bit more increased life force crying out that energy from above you. Point your finger and thumbs come to touch each other. Starting to close your eyes. Let's do a nice deep cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Let's do that again. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let's do that one more time. Inhaling through the nose. Exhale anything uh, out of the body that no longer belongs in there. Taking a moment to pause, setting your intention for today's class. What is it that you would like to receive out of today's class? Is there something that you would like to manifest today? Is there something that you're in the middle of manifesting that you want to pay attention to? Do you want to work on more strength today, flexibility? Is there a certain parts of your body that you think you haven't paid attention to today and you want to send some more of the love there or if you haven't been paying attention to it at all. <laughs> Taking a deep inhale in through the nose and exhaling with an ohm joining me with the sound of the universe. Inhaling through the nose. Uh, Palms to heart center, rubbing our palms together to create some warmth and friction between our palms. Sending that warmth, love, energy throughout every cell of your body. Bowing your forehead down, namaste. The light within me sees the light within you. Let's go ahead and cartwheel our hands over to the front of our yoga mat. Knees to the outer edges of the mat. Big toes come to touch each other. Inhale, belly button to the front of the mat. Knees lifts up. Exhale, hips to your heels, glutes to your heels, arms extended out in front of you. Forehead to the mat. Let's go ahead and rest in child's, extended child's pose for about five breaths here. Closing your eyes, focusing on your intention. If you can stay here, if you'd like, maybe you come up right onto your forearms and your elbow. Maybe your palms come together and then bring your palms right behind your um, head, thumb to your neck. Receiving that increased life force energy. Placing both palms onto the yoga mat, coming back to center. Let's go ahead and cross our ankles and bring our seats right behind our ankles. Today I'm going to work on opening the chakras from the root to the third eye. Let's go ahead and place our, our back onto the yoga mat. Feet are going to be bent 
and then placing our arms to the sides of our body in the T position. Let's go ahead and windshield wiper our hips or our knees from left to right, opening up that root chakra, repeat, uh, imagining that color red flowing through your body, grounding yourself, opening up that grounding chakra. Trying to go with your breath. Inhale when you go up. Exhale when you go down. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go ahead and come back to center. And then let's go ahead and give our knees a nice big hug. And then bringing your knees so that they're hip width apart from each other. Exhale, releasing your feet down to the hips. Inhale, giving yourself a big hug, keeping those knees hip distance apart. We're opening that root chakra. Exhale, feet to the yoga mat. Inhale, bringing it back up. Nice big hug, exhale down. That's three. Inhale, giving yourself a nice big hug, opening that root chakra, exhale, release. Inhale, giving yourself a nice big hug, opening that root chakra, imagining that red energy flow through your body, through that chakra, exhale, release. Inhale, big hug, exhale, release. Placing your uh, palms to the sides of your body. Feet remain about hip distance apart from each other. Lifting up that belly button to the sky. Let's go ahead and come into that bridge pose, opening up that root chakra. And then exhale, releasing that lower back arm to the yoga mat, to opening up that root chakra. Inhale, lifting up that belly button to the sky. Exhale, releasing. We're going to do that 10 times. Those two, we have eight more times. Inhale, lifting up that belly button to the sky. Imagining that red energy flowing through those hips, the glutes right here in that chakra. Exhale, release. Inhale, belly button to the sky. Exhale, release. Inhale. Belly button to the sky, opening up that chakra, grounding yourself. Exhale, release. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's go ahead and windshield a wiper our knees from left to right once again here, opening up that chakra. Bending your knees, wrapping your crease fingers around our big toes. Let's come into happy baby, swaying from left to right here. Massage out that root chakra. Imagine the color red flowing from your Mother Earth's core, coming into your body through that chakra and then flowing through that body, repeating to yourself, I am grounded. Let's go ahead and release our feet down onto the yoga mat. Rolling to the right side of your body, giving yourself a nice big hug. Giving yourself a nice little um, moment of gratitude. Thanking your body for bringing you through the flow for today. Repeat to yourself, I am grounded. Slowly, vertebrae, 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 starting to come up. And then let's come to the front of the yoga mat. Keeping our feet so that they're about hip width apart from each other. Let's come into halfway up, our knees nest in that exhale, forward bend. Palms to the sides of the body. Yoga block is um, good here if you need that. We're going to go ahead and finish opening up that root chakra right here. Inhale, exhale as you prepare, bending those knees. 
inhale up so we're gonna move with those hips exhale down just halfway bending those knees inhale up exhale down bending those knees inhale straighten those legs guiding with those hips pay attention to those hips so we're leading with those hips hips down hips up exhale down inhale 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 up let's go ahead and walk our toes to the outer edges of the body or to the yoga mat <laughs> our feet to the outer edges of the uh, toes to the outer edges of the yoga mat arms come up urge the hastasana upward slope knees remain bent exhale hands to heart center and then coming into that imaginary seat right but uh, right below us and then elbows into the insides of our knees, swaying from left to right here. Yogi squats, straightening out that spine, chin lifted up, opening up that chakra. So you can stay here if you would like to integrate a little bit of a twist. Maybe your left uh, palm comes to center and then your right palm to the ceiling, remaining in that squat, gaze follows to the right, uh, right fingertips. Let's go ahead and switch the other side, right palm to the center. Exhale, uh, left fingertips to the ceiling, gaze follows. Releasing that left palm onto the yoga mat, straightening out those legs, Walking back those toes to the center, ragdoll for a moment here, grabbing onto each elbow, swaying from left to right. Perfect. Slowly, bird of every bird of every starting to come up, urge the hastasana upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart center, and then cactus arms to the sides of our body. Interlocking your palms right behind you, and then straightening out your hands behind you, opening up that heart center, chin lifted up, belly button um, pushing pushing out so that we're straightening our spine, keeping those glutes strong. Exhale, releasing, belly button comes down first, remaining with our palms behind us. If you would like, once you're down, maybe your palms reach behind your head here for a nice opener here. <clears throat> Slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, starting to come back up, releasing the palms, urge the hastasana upward, salute, inhale in. Exhale, slowly going down into forward bend. Palms to the yoga mat, straightening out, halfway up. Exhale, hands to the yoga mat, stepping, hopping, or jumping back to the yoga, uh, to plank pose and then coming forward inhale in uh, shoulders right above the wrist exhale chaturanga modified is okay here if you want to put those knees down to the yoga mat when you go down elbows close to your ribs inhale coming to the top of your toes opening up heart center chin lifted up upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog good job We'll take about five breaths here for our first dog. Let's go ahead and take a few um, walking your dog moments here, swaying from left to right. Mm. 
your gaze comes to your belly button. Legs, uh, feet are about hip width apart from each other. Palms are about uh, shoulder width apart from each other. Walking with that dog, maybe lifting up one heel and then the other one. Walk out that dog. Your toes are pointed slightly to each other like a pigeon. Let's go ahead and place our knees onto the yoga mat and then coming into a tabletop position. So knees are about hip width apart from each other, wrists are right below the shoulders. Inhale, let's go ahead and bring our right arm out, left leg out. Exhale, coming to center, right elbow and left knee come to touch. Inhale, coming out, opening up that sol uh, solar plexus. Exhale. Inhale, extending out. Exhale, extending in. Inhale, extending out. Exhale, extending in. Inhale, extending out. Exhale, extending in. Releasing, coming back down onto the yoga mat, switching sides. Left arm extends out, right leg extends out. Inhale, extending back in. Left elbow, right knee come to touch. Inhale, extending out. Exhale, extending in. Inhale, extending out. Exhale, extending back in. Inhale, extending out. Exhale, extending back in. Releasing back onto the yoga mat. Knees to the outer edges of the yoga mat. Big toes come to touch each other. Let's go ahead and inhale, bringing that belly button to the front of the mat. Exhale, bringing your hips to your heels, extending the palms out. Imagining the color yellow right now for the sacral chakra uh, for the fourth or second chakra forehead to the mat your sacral chakra that's what it is Coming back to center, bringing your knees back to the center, coming to the top of your toes, lifting up those hips, downward facing dog. <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and look forward, inhaling, stepping, hopping, or jumping to the front of your yoga mat. Halfway up, Ardha Utanasana. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, arms come up, or Dhanasasana, upward suit. Exhale, hands to heart center and releasing the palms to the sides of your body, standing tall and strong like a mountain. Stepping to the side of the yoga mat. Um, so we're facing parallel to the yoga mat now. Let's go ahead and come into a goddess pose here. So feet are pointed slightly, just slightly outwards. And then we're coming into that imaginary seat right behind us. The arms are in cactus arms like a cactus. Shoulders are hugging each other. See if you can go a little bit lower here. Releasing, coming back up. Arms come up, Urdha Sasana, upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart center, and then coming to the sides of the body, keeping these quadriceps hamstrings strong. Let's go ahead and make sure our heels are in line, one line with each other. Bringing out our, and then let's make sure our feet are about three to three and a half feet wide from each other. 
and then bringing out our toes so that they're pointed to the front of your yoga mats. With your heels still in line with each other, left foot follows to a 45 degree angle, keeping those quadriceps hamstrings strong. Inhale, arms come up into a triangle pose. Now exhale, following those right fingertips as if we can't, and when we can't fall, as if somebody were fall, uh, pulling onto those fingertips, and when we can't follow those fingertips anymore, bringing your right palm to the inside of that right foot, extending out with that left arm up to the ceiling, triangle pose. A yoga block is very good here if you need one and you need to balance on one right here, that's completely okay. Releasing that left palm, slowing inch by inch, starting to come back up. Let's switch sides. Keeping our heels where they are, keeping our feet about three to, three to three and a half feet wide from each other. Left foot follows and looks to, uh, so our toes are now looking to the back of our yoga mat. Keeping the quadriceps hamstrings completely strong here. Right foot follows to about a 45 degree angle. Inhale, arms come up into um, as we prepare for extended triangle pose exhale we're going to follow those left fingertips as if somebody were falling um pulling onto those left fingertips as if we can't pull them anymore bringing them to the insides of that left foot right arm comes up extended triangle pose gaze looks up to your uh, right fingertips remembering to breathe imagining the color yellow for that sacral chakra flowing through that body. Releasing that right palm to the yoga mat, inch by inch, coming back up, and then exhale, we'll come back to center. Inhale, raising those arms above us, palms interlock. Let's go ahead and open up that solar plexus, imagining that orange color right here in that belly. Inhale, opening up heart center, keeping those toes so that they're um, pigeon toe, just slightly looking towards each other. Feet are about three to three and a half feet wide from each other. Ex uh, keeping your knees slightly, slightly bent. Exhale releasing that um, your palms to your left foot inhale slowly coming back up opening up heart center <clears throat> exhale releasing coming forward you can start to straighten out your knees if you feel ready to inhale opening up open up that solar plexus that belly with the color orange exhale release Inhale, coming back up, opening up that, that belly. Exhale, releasing to the right foot. Maybe we feel a little bit of a hamstring stretch while we're doing this. Inhale, opening up that belly, solar plexus. Exhale, release. Inhale, opening up. Exhale to the right foot. Inhale, opening up. Exhale to the left foot. Inhale, opening up. Last round. Exhale to the right foot. Inhale, opening up. Imagine that color orange. Open up that belly. Exhale, release to the left foot. Slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, starting to come back up. Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart center releasing the palms to your body and then let's go ahead and come into a forward bend here at the front of our mat ragdoll here for just a moment grabbing onto each elbow swaying from left to right both releasing any tension in that back uh, in the neck <clears throat> Slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, starting to come back up. Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. 
exhale, hands to heart center, and then releasing to the sides of your body. Let's go ahead and in bit, um, inhale, hands coming up, exhale, as if we're going to sit in that imaginary chair right behind us, keeping our feet so that they're about hip distance away from each other, bringing your, your, mo your mula bandhi in, uh, your belly button in like a chair, and then exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale as we prepare, bringing that left um, elbow to the outer edge of that right knee. And then elbows are stacked, gaze comes to that right elbow. Inhale, coming back to center, remaining in chair. Exhale, this time right elbow to the outer edge of that left knee, a little bit of a twist here. Gaze follows and looks to your left foot elbow. Good. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, forward bend, straightening up those legs. Inhale, halfway up, Ardhu Tanasana, straighten out that spine. Exhale, framing onto the yoga mat, stepping, hopping, or jumping back to your um, to plank pose. If you're used to walking, maybe hop. If you're used to hopping, maybe jump. Inhale, let's go ahead and bring our shoulders right above our wrist. Exhale, bringing your elbows close to your ribs and coming onto your belly button. And let's go ahead and come onto our forearms. Swaying from left to right with our uh, feet, windshield wipering our feet now. Releasing both feet onto the yoga mat, keeping them completely engaged here. And then let's go ahead and um, keep, uh, so keep your toes completely pointed to the bottom of your yoga mat, keeping them completely engaged, your muscles engaged, including your toes, your feet. Bending that right leg, and then so you can stay here if this feels like enough to you. But if you want a little bit more of a challenge, Maybe you reach and your palm places onto on top of your toes, so, um, and then reversing your hands so that your hand your fingers are pointed to the front of the yoga mat. Just coming into a one-legged frog in lotus pose, keeping both hips on the yoga mat using that forearm in front of you for support here. So basically you're just putting the palm right on top of those right toes and then switching over um, like a 180 uh, with your palm so your fingers are pointed to the front of the yoga mat. Palms are still on your toes. And then releasing, coming back out of that. Maybe windshield wiper your feet for just another moment here while remaining on your forearms. Releasing both legs and feet onto the yoga mat. Keeping that right leg engaged and your right toes engaged, pointed to the back of the yoga mat. Bending your left, uh, left knee into a 90 degree angle. Inhale, let's go ahead and reach back with our toes. So you can stay here if you'd like maybe your palm twist into 180 so your palms remain or your left palm remains on to on top of your big on top of your toes 180 just turning the palm in the hand so your fingers are pointed to the front of the yoga mat both hips remain on the yoga mat remember to breathe exhale out Using that front arm for support here. Maybe your gaze looks up to the ceiling. Releasing and coming back out of that. Let's go ahead and come back into a tabletop position. 
So the knees come right below those hips, wrists are right below those shoulders. Inhale, lifting that right arm up to the ceiling. Gaze follows, exhale, sweeping underneath uh, with that right arm underneath your left arm to come into the shoulder. Right cheek onto the yoga mat, keeping that left arm in a 90 degree angle. So keeping that bent, needle in the thigh pose. Inhale, starting to slowly come back up, back into a regular tabletop position. Exhale out. Inhale, lifting up that, re uh, that left arm to the ceiling as we prepare. Exhale, sweeping with that left arm right underneath that right arm, coming to your left shoulder, left cheek onto your yoga mat, and then keeping that right arm bent into a 90 degree angle. Slowly inhaling, coming back, crossing your ankles, and then coming into a seat. So bringing those hips right behind those feet. And then just coming into a bounded triangle pose. So the bottoms of your feet come to touch each other, grounding with your hands onto your feet, and then coming up and down with your knees here, straightening out that spine, fluttering your butterfly here, your bounded triangle. Extending the legs out in front of you and then coming uh, right onto your forearms. So elbows are right underneath your shoulders. Inhale, opening up heart center, hugging those shoulders back, chin lifted up and opening up that heart center to the, the ceiling. Exhale, release. Inhale, opening up heart center, holding those shoulders to each other. Exhale, release. Inhale, hugging those shoulders together, opening up heart center, imagining the color green flowing through your body. Exhale, release. Green, the color of love, the feather of the heart chakra. Inhale, opening up heart center. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale, opening up heart center completely. Try to open it up as much as you can now. Last one, exhale, release. Coming back into a seated position, I'll just face the camera for a moment here so that you can see what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and inhale, bringing your left ear to your left shoulder, exhale, chin to chest, and then inhale, coming back up, right ear to right shoulder, Exhale, the back. So we want to go with our breath, going very slow, opening up that throat chakra. Massaging out that neck. Imagining the color blue right there where your throat is. And then releasing, coming to the other side. When you're opening up your throat chakra, don't be surprised if you have coughs or anything like that. It's completely normal. It's just your throat chakra opening up. Maybe you can't stand, but to just tell the truth, it's your throat chakra opening up. <clears throat> Coming back into neutral and then extending with our palms out into the sides of our body. Let's go ahead and just um, cut a switch side so that right palm comes up, pointing to the ceiling, right arm comes down, left arm comes down, leading with our palms. When we're going down, let's go ahead and switch, right palm faces down, left palm faces up. Let's go ahead and switch palms here. Right palm faces up, left palm faces down. 
Let's go ahead and switch sides. Right palm faces down, left palm up. Switching sides. Switching sides. Coming back to center. And then let's go ahead and come on to a happy baby here. Please fingers wrap around your big toes, elbows to the insides of your yoga mat. Swaying from left to right. And then bringing your feet so that they are about hip distance apart from each other. Feet are right below your hips. Hands to the sides of your body. Now using your palms for support, um, you can stay here if you would like. Maybe you extend your legs up, coming into that inversion here a little bit. So you can stay here, keeping your muscles engaged as if there was a wall right there that we're leaning our feet onto. But if you would like, maybe if you, um, this isn't, rec this next pose isn't recommended for anybody with any neck injuries, back injuries, um, or high blood pressure. Um, if you have asthma, please be careful as well too. Listen to your body, please talk to a doctor first before doing this. But maybe we go ahead and come into a ladder shoulder stance pose, using your palms for support. Listen to your body. Bringing your belly button right on top of your shoulders, using your hands for support on that lower back. Staying tall and strong like a ladder. And releasing, coming back down very slowly. Vertebrae to vertebrae. And making any last movements that you would like to make. Maybe you come into a spinal twist here, making any last movements, and then coming into a Shavasana laying down pose. So keeping your feet to the outer edges of the mat, when you're in Shavasana laying down pose, let's go ahead and bring our palms to our forehead, thumbs right in between our eyebrows. Imagining that there's an eye right there where our eye, in the middle of our eyebrows. Imagine it closed. Whatever color you want your eye to be. And then inhale, opening up that eye. Imagining that eye is opening. I'm imagining that the eye is purple. So whatever color you want to imagine it. Exhale, closing that eye. Purple is the color of the third eye chakra, so if you would like to imagine the color purple, you can do that. But we'll go ahead and inhale, opening up the eye. Exhale, closing. Inhale, opening up that eye. Exhale, closing. Inhale, opening up that eye. Exhale, closing. Releasing your palms to the sides of your body, or you can remain opening up that third eye. Or just coming into a regular Shavasana, laying down pose. Let's go ahead and imagine if you're in laying down Shavasana pose and you're not opening up your third eye. Imagine the white light flowing through your body. Send it, uh, send from Mother Earth below you or the universe above you. Swaying from, uh, going from cell to cell, cleaning out your body, filling it with health, joy, gratitude, prosperity, everything in your body, every cell of your body, making it healthier and healthier and healthier.
And may you imagine your happy space, your paradise, your quiet, safe space. Where are you? What are you doing? Who's there? What can you see? What can you smell? What can you taste? What can you hear? What can you touch? Remind yourself that you can always come to this peaceful, quiet place, paradise, whenever you want to. Just another moment here. And with your eyes still closed, gently starting to roll over to the right side of your body, giving yourself a nice hug, thanking yourself for bringing you through your practice today and anything else that you would like to be grateful for. With your eyes still closed, gently starting to come back up into a seated, easy meditation pose. Palms come back to your knees. Inhale, straightening out that spine. Inhale through that nose. Join me for a closing prayer of Om Shanti. Inhale. Bringing your palms to heart center, bowing your forehead down. Namaste. The light within me sees the light within you. Great job today. You did amazing. And I can't wait to see you again tomorrow.